Welcome back to the last in our Going Deeper Legacy series. Mm. This is our very last Legacy Going oh, Deeper. I know. Right. Oh. I really enjoyed it. Um, and we're talking today about the legacy that the Holy Spirit is in our lives. That Jesus gave us the legacy, the gift of the Holy Spirit as a legacy. Right. And this week our big idea is that the Holy Spirit guides us. Mm -hmm. So let's, I, we have some interesting items here and I want to talk about some of this because not only we've talked about, you know, how we are given a legacy in like, you know, recipes and jobs right. and all the different things, but we have a legacy through these photos and items that we have in front of us. And so I'd like each of us to share kind of what you have in front of you. Sure. Okay. Miss Patty, you want to start? Yes. Oh, I'd love to. So this is a postcard that my my grandmother got probably oh, wow. in the late 1920s, early 30s. Wow. So wow. this it's actually a wooden suitcase and it came from California. And the stamp on there is a penny and a half. So I don't know. Half she must have had a, yeah, a penny and a half. Huh. So it's a cent and a half. So she must have had to grab a couple, like pay three cents for two stamps, right? right I don't know right. how that would okay. work. Yeah. But our stamps are certainly not a penny anymore when you right. mail no. anything. <laughs> and um, I thought that was cool. So that was something neat that she she obviously it was special to her and she kept it. And then this is a ruler that my father used when he was in elementary school. So this um, 1940s. And it's really thick and it's really heavy. So um, that's kind of cool. We've kept that. And then my last item that I wanted to show you is my my uncle's scrapbook that my grandmother put together for him. So I, I put a couple of... Um, pages so he had uh, glued on here some educational things wow, sometimes about so cool. presidents sometimes about flowers or bugs and then over here these are valentine's day cards which would have mm. been in the 1930s that wow. he would have received so that's really cool and then right over here um some more valentine's day card and then i found this it's a birthday card that he got from my grandmother and my grandfather when he turned five so wow. that would have been 19 he was born in 1932, so 1937. Right. Wow. wow. So these are kind of really cool things. But remember how we talked about a legacy can be good or it can be bad? Right. Well, in my house, unfortunately, we have kind of a bad legacy. My grandmother and my great-grandmother had an argument, mm. and they stopped having a relationship. So my grandfather, mm, wow. um, it was his mom, and she was the only son. So she didn't have any other children but my grandfather. So my dad did not grow up knowing his grandmother because they stopped speaking to wow. each other. Yeah. And it wasn't until she was getting ready to pass away that they went to go visit her one last time. Mm. So my father never got to meet his cousins, never really got to know that right. side of the family which we never got to know. So there's a hole in my legacy. Yeah. There's people I don't know. And as wonderful as it is to have the stuff of the past, mm -hmm. I would have really preferred the relationships. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Wow. Isaiah. Well, here I have a neat scrapbook. So this is uh, a recent scrapbook that my father and my, uh, my mom created. So this is, um, I guess we're kind of starting what your uncles, yeah. your great uncle started. So we have uh, pictures here of my family and uh, some of my relatives. This is my uh, dad's siblings here. We have some pictures of my grandparents. Uh, let's see if I can find some. Oh, there's uh, that's my grandfather. His nickname was uh, Johnny Cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was, uh, yeah, he had a motorcycle. Man, he was a he was a, a smooth. He was dude. cool. Yeah, he was cool. So we have some pictures of my. Um, <clears throat> I guess these are the relatives, or I don't really know who all these people are, but. Family, friends, uh, maybe great cousins. These are my grandparents here, my grandmother and my granddad. So, yeah, it's really cool that my dad uh, likes to start these kind of things, and he really wants to build that legacy so mm -hmm. that future generations will know who these right. people were, right? right. Yeah, that's so, really that's cool. special. Yeah. That's cool. So I brought a couple of pictures also. This is a picture of my grandparents. Oh. So when my mom and my dad got married, um, my my mom's parents and my dad's parents came together for a picture. Right. Um, even though they really, you know, this you is probably... The, you show the kids, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so even though they, you know, it was just, it was an interesting relationship. It was okay. interesting, but mm -hmm. it's good to have a picture of them all together. Yeah. Um, just because it's a memory. Right. Yeah. So we have started 
you know, trying to build those legacies ourselves yeah. in our family, you know, because like you, Patty, I don't really have relationship legacies, so yeah. to speak, but we have pictures. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we are building the relationship legacies right. in our family. So here's a picture of four generations mm, all sitting on so one cool. couch. This is the first grandchild of mine, my mm -hmm. granddaughter, Cameron, with my son and myself and my mother. So wow. it's four generations all sitting on a couch together. So uh -huh. that was a pretty special time. And interestingly, all of us have a good relationship together. We all good. you know, have spent time together, know each other, and still like each other and <laughs> yeah. even love each other, which yeah. is important. Yeah. So um, because it felt like it was important to kind of um, whether while we didn't have it in the past, we yeah. are, can build it now. Right. right. You know, and it's built through time spent and yep. relationships that spend together. And we have this legacy here. Yeah, we do. We have a re legacy between the three right. of us because we do. Patty and I have been teaching for a long time together. Yeah. Mr. Isaiah has joined <laughs> us in the last three, four, four years. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. And then you're going to like, you're going to be old one day like this, you know, yeah. Mr. Isaiah, and you're going to have somebody standing, you know, next to you that you've taught and mm -hmm. that are raising up in right. the ministry. So it's spent mm -hmm. or legacies are built by spending time together mm -hmm. and really learning from one another. Right. So, and that's what, you know, the Holy Spirit is our guide as we spend time with God, as we spend time with the Holy Spirit, we learn what he wants in our life and how he wants to lead us. And as we trust him, he will lead us into good things. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Because the kids okay. may not know that you were one of my teachers when I was in elementary school, yeah. probably first, second grade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Pat, or Pastor Sonia was my children's pastor yeah. when I was y'all's age too. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. there's a legacy. Right. Yeah. So we're going to head over and do our last legacy game um, that Miss Ryan's going to lead. And I'm going to beat Miss Patty. I'm just saying. It's not so. going to happen. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to watch from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer <Okay>. for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time to play a game. So how this game is going to work is I have Pastor Sonia and Miss Patty, and they have to guess for number of fruits. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen, and each fruit that I call out, they have to count that number, and whoever gets to that number first wins that round. Are you right. ready? I'm ready. ready. Okay. Okay. Mm. We're going to turn. Yeah, yep. as soon as you call out the fruit, we'll turn. turn. Okay. And look at the photo. Okay. Let's do strawberries. Now, when? Go. Now. <laughs> Two. Three. Three. Ooh, yes. Miss Patty oh, wins. I just found the other one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> strawberries. Okay, good job. All right, we're, let's go to pineapples. Pineapple. And go. Go. Um. Four. Five. 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 It's five. Okay, I was confused. I thought they were orange slices. There no. are orange. Oh. There are orange slices, but there's five pineapple. Of course there are, because I totally saw them. <laughs> okay, now let's do cherries and go. Four, three, four. Yes. You don't make fun of my pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And oranges, go. Orange. Six. It's six. Yes. All right, Pastor Sonia has two, Miss Patty has I'm two. I'm confused, because there's oranges, yes. and then there's slices. What are those slices? Yeah, you'll have to see. Okay. Um, I thought they were orange slices. I thought you were being tricky. Nope. I was counting. I gotta take this off, it keeps like. No, keep it on, I like it when it slices you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watermelons, and go. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so one. Okay. Uh, grapes. grapes. And go. Oh. oh. Grapes. <laughs> Six. Six. Oh, I said it first. I said it first. first. Yeah. I... It was a really close yes, call, but was yes. close. neither of them are right. <gasps> so it is seven, but ah. you still don't get the. You don't get the <laughs> You would have gotten the point for speed, but um, it yeah. was incorrect. I got okay. the point for accuracy. <laughs> All right, we have two more. Two more. Kiwi, go. Kiwi. Four. Four. Yep, Pastor right. Sonia got it. It's four. Okay. So is it three to three or three to two? Three to three. Seven uh, to eight. Nine. No. No. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Last one. Yes. This is the final tiebreaker. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. I'm focusing. You're looking for peaches in three, two, peaches. one. Um. I don't. Um. Six. Miss Patty wins. Yeah, that's right. Peaches. They're right next to the pineapples. I can see. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Now it's time to go into the going deeper question. So we've been talking about the Holy Spirit this whole legacy series, but the one thing we haven't talked about is are the fruits of the Spirit. So our going deeper question this week says, why does the Holy Spirit care about fruit? Well, let's dive into that, okay? We're going to read a passage of scripture, and I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. It's from Galatians 5.22. So I want you to turn there in your Bibles. You can pause the video if you need to go get your Bible, because it's important that you follow along. But I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. And it says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So if you've been in children's ministry with us, you've heard us talk about these fruits. We've talked about them a lot. It's interesting that we always feel like we have to make ourselves have love for one another. or We have to make ourselves be kind to one another. We have to make ourselves find that patience or that gentleness. But that's really not what God wants us to do because we're going to get disappointed if we try that. We're going to feel like we failed because we can never have the kind of love that we need to have for our neighbors or we're never patient enough with our brothers and sisters. So Miss Patty's going to come and t talk to us while I find love. No, 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 I'm kidding. I love Miss Patty. So Miss Patty, explain that to us. Okay, okay. So I have really great news for you. You do not have to grow the fruit of the Spirit. Let's go back to Galatians verse 22 and read that first section again. It says, the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. So the Holy Spirit is like a gardener that's producing this in your life. So when we talk about apples like this one, we know that they come from trees. And when we talk about bananas, we know that they come from trees as well. But fruit also means different things. It can mean something that's been created or it can mean a harvest. So when we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit, what we're talking about is the Holy Spirit helping to produce those things in your life, helping to produce the fruit of the Spirit that will, will really help your life out. So we know that the Holy Spirit is like a gardener cultivating this in our lives, but I bet you figured something out, didn't you? That he doesn't do it alone. You have to partner with the Holy Spirit to make this fruit grow in your lives. It's not something that you do on your own. It's not something that he does on his own. It's something that you do together. So I want to bring up another legacy game, which is the three-legged race. So I think I'll get Pastor Sonia and Miss Ryan to help me with this. Okay, you guys ready? Ready! Ha! I have this. And what I want you to do is tie one of your legs together. So you each get to use an independent leg and then you work together to use... Tie this leg use... like this? Yeah, that's totally it. No. You're going, yes, you're going to connect to your daughter. Oh. It's a three-legged race. So have you ever watched people play this race? It's been around for a long time. It's really fun to watch. Have you ever seen one person that's really doing a great job and they're pushing forward and the other person is like lost? They're trying to keep up, but they can't keep up with that person. That would be, oh, she's pointing to her mom. Wait, okay. wait. <laughs> so wait. let's let's see that <laughs> happening here where one person's doing a great job and the other person just can't keep up. Okay. Okay. Are we just walking? Yeah, because if you ran, you, okay. well, maybe you should run. We can all watch you fall on your face. No. That would be funny. Okay. okay. No. Okay. You go. Let's go. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, you had it we're, right. No, we're falling. We're okay. falling. Okay. okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay. Wait, yeah. no. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so that not. was a great example of not working together. You guys did that really well. Okay, but yes? you want us to work together, right? Yeah, because it's more important that you would so work together, kind of like when you work with the Holy Spirit. So if you're in sync so on with one another and you go together, you should be able to run eventually, right? As long okay. as you understand that pattern. But let's try walking first because the first time wasn't so good. Let's just see if you can do better. Okay. Making it tighter might be helpful. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, you're going to do it down below? Down mm -hmm. lower, because, oh. you know, we were falling That's apart. That's a different strategy. That's really cool. This could end really, really badly. It could. I'm In just which saying. case, we'll have it on film. Let's see how and in sync we are, daughter. really funny okay. to watch later. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Go. Wait. <laughs> yeah, you have to decide which foot to start with, right? <laughs> oh, okay. That was so much better. Okay. okay. Let's really push the envelope and see if they could walk faster or even run. Do you think you could run this way or just walk faster? We're going to run. You're going to Oh! Get the video out. <laughs> opportunity for me to push them over because they wouldn't be able to help themselves. Okay. Anyway, it is so much better if you work together. So work together with the Holy Spirit. All right. So let's look up another scripture verse. This is from Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. This is Apostle Paul teaching in this passage. It says, So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Then I'm going to read down uh, at verse 25, the same chapter. It says, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So let's talk about those two scripture verses. So the first one says, Live by the Spirit. And that pretty much means, Let the Holy Spirit guide you in everything that you do. And then it says, If you do this, you will not gratify the desires of our sinful nature. And that means... Um, the things that we like to do for ourselves, like we don't want to, you know, be selfish or we want to get things, those things, those are our sinful nature. And if we're living by the Spirit, by default, we won't be living a selfish life because the Holy Spirit's not going to lead us into things that are against God. And that second scripture, it says the same thing. It says, since we live by the Spirit, we will keep in step with the Spirit. Meaning if we are seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit, well, by default, we're going to be in the will of God because the Holy Spirit is always going to guide us in the will of God. So now I want to pray for this exact thing, that God would fill us with his Holy Spirit and he would help us to keep in step with the Spirit, meaning um, to be in his will, to allow him to guide us into things that he wants us to do. Not uh, use the Holy Spirit to help us do the things that we want to do, but that God would use us in a powerful way and he would lead us so that we can follow him and have this fruit in our lives that we've been talking about. So let's pray. I want you to close your eyes, bow your heads, and let's really just focus on what the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. Because if we are still for listening, the Holy Spirit will show us ways that we can be living for him and that we can grow in him. And the fruits maybe that he wants us to be practicing so that we can get better in those areas. So let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much, Lord. I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I thank you that um, once we follow you and choose to accept Jesus into our hearts, you didn't leave us alone, but you gave us the Holy Spirit to help us live this life that you've called us to live. God, I pray you would help us to have patience and kindness and love and joy and peace and patience and all these things, God, that we may uh, be more like you, Lord. Help us to grow these fruits of the Spirit in our lives, Lord, and help us to seek you and to listen to ways that you are leading us and guiding us into truth so that we can truly live like you, God. I pray you would reveal to the kids ways that uh, you want them to grow, God, things that maybe they need to um, do better in, areas that they know they need to grow in. God, I pray you would show them and give them opportunities to practice living with you, God, and being led by you and partnering with you in every part of their lives. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So this has been another great Going Deeper. Remember, we have Going Deeper videos every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have our Sunday morning video at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can see that on our YouTube and Facebook pages. And we have in-person services also on Sunday, our 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. service. Please join us for that. It's so great to see you guys in person again. So I hope you all would join us next week. Bye.